With us today we have Danka, who is a Dutch doctor that worked in a small town in South Africa who has the highest HIV rate in, world, in the world. And uh, I was wondering, what was it like to work with so many people who are HIV infected? So in Mekusi, approximately 40% of the people is HIV positive. And you must understand that if, if there's so many people that are HIV positive, you will see um, the impact on the complete society. Uh, what I've seen is um, a lot of orphans because their parents passed away and not go to school because they have to take care of their younger siblings. Um, and when they go to school, a lot of the time there's no teacher because the teacher is sick. Um, also what I've seen is companies that are not able to function well because their employees get sick too often. And what was it's the biggest challenge that you have faced while working there? Uh, the biggest challenge is even though it's such a common disease, people wouldn't uh, like to, to talk about it, so it's still a taboo. Um, there's many weird, weird ideas about the disease, so people think um, that the disease doesn't exist or they don't want to take the treatment or uh, they, uh, they think that they can be cured by a traditional healer or by having sex with a virgin. Um, then they don't want to use condoms because they say condoms are for a white man's penis, not for a black man's penis. Um, and um, they also think that if once they're circumcised, then they're protected from the virus. So besides this, have you seen a positive change with dealing with HIV? Yeah, we, we, were, we were able to form disclosure groups. So those are uh, groups that explain, to, especially to children, what the disease is and why they have to take treatment. Uh, a lot of children, they don't understand why they have to take uh, so many tablets every day because um, they think I'm fine, I, I feel well. Um, so parents struggle to explain it to the children because the, it often involves the word uh, sex. And we were able to do that with, um, with, the, with the help of play and music and, um, um, and also explain to the children that they're not the only ones. Okay, well, it sounds very hopeful. Thank you so much. And if you want to see more videos when it comes to World AIDS Day, check out interconnection.com.